on the ground there. Can you hand that to me? There's an open bottle right there. This is not what I was drinking. This is old. Uh, not because I really can't have a DUI tonight. My parents are cops. We'll talk about that. I, I am paranoid. You're scaring me. I'm scaring you? Okay, please, okay. Please, 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 please. I'll do tonight. everything. What's up, everybody? Today we have another drunk driving Karen getting arrested. Now, this one was beyond wasted because as she was driving, she was also drinking some coconut rum. And when she got pulled over and arrested, she refused to take any accountability and was begging for mercy when in fact she deserves none. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Hello, police department. Hi. Hi, I'm stopping you for speeding and then you're all over the road on South 41. You're swerving all in and out I'm of lanes. sorry, I was on my phone. Okay. I was looking up directions, so I'm going home. How much alcohol have you had to drink tonight? Not much. What's not much? I had a drink at the bar before I left my work. I can give you my ID right now. Okay, what, what time was your last drink at? 10 minutes ago. Okay, what kind of alcohol were you drinking? Just a beer. Okay, can you be honest with me? I will be honest with you. I don't think so. I think you've had more than one to drink. I'll be honest with you. I did. Okay. I had one, two. Uh, How many did you have? Two. You were honest with me about one. Now you're brought it to two. How many did you really have? Because I'm telling you, I'm really good at this. You smell really bad like booze. You're slurring your speech. Your eyelids are droopy. How many did you really have? Uh, five. Five? Mm -hmm. okay. Can I see your driver's license registration, please? 62 and 9 dispatch. I'll take a 94 routine. Can I routine. have a long conversation with you? Yeah, I'll grab your ID first, then uh, we can I, talk. I, okay. I just... I really can't have a DUI tonight. We'll, we'll my talk parents about are that. cops. We'll talk about that. Uh, okay, can what, we, what please, agency can we just have for? a conversation? Like, I can work? have my dad come. Hang on, what agency do they work for? The, the police, like, uh, Sh that. Hillsborough yeah. County. Hillsborough. What do they do there? She's a, my mom is a, um, sorry, I'm really, really scared right now. I understand. Um, she's a, uh, corrections officer. My dad and my mom are I'm retired, Just routine, um, please. police officers and, okay. Can I, can, let's start with your driver's license, okay? Okay, can we, can we, can we just, uh, Oh, let's not worry about your lights. Okay. This is your ID. Your ID. No, I just want to give you my um. That and then. Dude, super super. Yeah. Just go five. 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 Just um, is that an open bottle of alcohol right there, miss? Yeah. On the ground there, can you hand that to me? There's an open bottle right there. Can you hand that to me? It's on the ground. Yes. No, no, stop. Oh, Lower. this? Yep. No, this is, um, this is not what I, what I was drinking. This is old. <sighs> not, okay. not, not cooking tonight, I promise You can hear the disbelief and the disgust in the officer's voice. He is flabbergasted that this woman is straight up drinking rum as she's driving. What the hell is wrong with her? And she says that her parents are in law enforcement. She tried to drop that real slick so she would be able to get a better treatment. This cop isn't corrupt. It's not going to work, lady. Okay. Again, that out, that it was not something that was... Do you have any weapons in here for personal protection, miss? I promise you that not, and that was not something I was drinking tonight. I'm not saying it was. Do you have a driver's license? I do, but Can I don't have it on me. Where is it? It's my passport. I just had it uh, mailed to me the other day. I've been using my passport for the past okay. uh, couple Is months. your license valid? Yeah, it is. Okay. It is. Um, what's your first name, Abby? Abby McCoy. Abby, I'll have you hop out of the car, okay? Okay, so last beverage was 10 minutes ago. What time did you start drinking tonight? Please don't, please don't no, ruin no, me. No, no, hang on. Don't say, please don't ruin me, because I didn't have you drink tonight. I didn't I have you start know, the vehicle. I, I didn't have you go 69 miles an hour to 45, swerving all over three lanes of traffic. Okay, okay, you did that, not me, so let's not put this on me. Okay, I'm just going to have you come up on the sidewalk, okay? I'm just going to ask you to perform a few... Uh, 
voluntary test to make sure you're okay to be at driving, and uh, we'll go from there. So can you stand on this flat and level surface here? I'm going to shut off these bright flashing lights, okay? No problem. I'm scared. Abby, I totally get it. Any police encounter, it's natural yeah. to be kind of scared or, or I, nervous. I, I, I it sounds like you, you said your parents are cops. I was on my phone. It's not more of a... Okay, here, I'll have you face this way. Okay, I, was okay. I understand you were on your phone, but you're also doing 65 on laser, and then I get behind you, and I'm pacing you. 69. Okay, you're swerving all over three lanes of traffic. You smell really bad like booze. You've had five drinks. Your last one was 10 minutes before driving. That's why we're at where we're at. Okay. okay. Do you think you should have been driving tonight? Honestly, I probably should have called my dad. For a ride? And I honestly probably yeah. should have. Okay. I don't think I've left the bar more than two minutes. And Which bar are you coming from right now? Linksters. Linksters? I'm very scared. Okay. I so don't want to be in trouble. Do you do you have any head brain or injuries at all? I just wanted to leave the situation I was at. And... <laughs> Do you have any head brain or injuries at all? No. Okay. Do you wear contacts or glasses? Okay. Um, I... Do you take medications for anything? Okay. Do you have any lower back, knee, or hip injuries at all? Nothing. No ankle injuries? Okay. Um, all right. So what I'll have you do is I'm going to have you follow the tip of my pen right here. Can you okay. put your hands down by your side, please? Yeah. So what I'll ask you to do is voluntary exercise. Just follow okay. the tip of my pen right here mm -hmm. with your eyes and your eyes only. Don't move your head at all. Do you understand? Yeah. Can you lower your chin a little bit? Thank you. Just now, at first, when I saw these tests, I was wondering, what's the point? Because obviously, she just admitted to having five drinks, which is way over the legal limit. But a lot of you guys told me it's for additional evidence. And I guess you can never have too much evidence because the prosecutor is going to have a field day with this one. Not only did she admit, on top of that, she has an open bottle of alcohol, and she's probably going to fail these tests miserably. Right up here. Sure. I just want my dad to be here. I, just, I made a mistake of driving for the that. last five minutes. And I understand that. <laughs> well, let me it's know when you're five ready. Minutes. It was just five minutes. And I, I don't want to ruin my life. Let I don't want to ruin my life. Let me know when you're ready to continue, okay? I'll let you get control of yourself here. Can I, can I call my dad? No, I, not at this point. We're, I'm just wanting to do these exercises please, first, okay? okay. I, I'm just asking you to do these exercises first, okay? Okay. So if okay. you could just put your hands by your side, please, I'm going to continue, okay? okay. So follow the tip of the pen right here, okay? You gotta follow it all the way to the side there. It's kinda it's weird to hold it to the side. So right. don't don't move your head at all. Follow with your eyes and your eyes only. Go ahead and straighten your head out toward me. Thank you. It's okay. Tip of the pen right here. Yeah. Okay. Don't move your head. So you're looking up and down on the pen? I know. Just follow the tip, tip okay? Tip, Just okay. the tip. Top of the Yep. yep. Are we good? 
usually when the officers do these tests, the angle isn't always right for us, the viewer, to analyze what's going on. But this time it was way different because you could clearly see her eyes. And what they're looking for is to see if the iris is able to follow the pen or the finger in a straight line without fidgeting, without going back and forth and scraping around. And in this case, she clearly failed the test, which is no surprise because she admitted to having five drinks. I, I, it, it takes a little bit. It, um, nice day, Miss takes a little what bit. What are you looking for? Because What am I looking for? Yeah. I'm looking for something. I, even, I know. So it's it goes in phases. I'm sure. I know. I've had like two drinks. I'm honestly just personally no, paranoid you said you, no, right you said, now. You said you've had five. You did not say I you know. had two. Do you uh, but that's all night. And that's yeah. been for the past four hours. I've just been. I'm paranoid that you pulled me over. I, I'm going to be honest. Do you want to be, be done honest. with this portion of the test? I, I am paranoid. You're scaring me. I'm scaring you? Just, just a little bit. Um, okay. I'm not used to this. I've never been pulled over before. Okay. This is a little bit nerve-wracking to me. Can you stand with her for just a second? Yeah. I don't want to be... What? Contradictory. I'm just scared, personally. Yeah, I've never been pulled happens. over. People get nervous with police. But you don't have any reason to be nervous. Of it. I mean, you're so, do, okay. do you want to continue on your voluntary tests? I mean, yeah, like I, I do. Okay. I was completely voluntary. Like I okay. don't feel like I'm in trouble at all. I just. Okay. Let's put your hands back. I'm down personally side. scared. Just I've never been like this. Okay. Okay. So, have you finished this exercise? So just, tip of the pen. Yep. Tip, tip of the pen. Yep. Okay. You've been doing fine. You've been doing fine with the direction. All right. Now we're going to go up. This is the last portion of the exercise, okay. okay? Keep your head nice and low. Fall it all the way up. Make sure to fall it all the way up. Okay, so the next exercise is called the walk and turn, okay? So we're going to use this flat and level surface right here, okay? We're not going to go up to that part because the sidewalk kind of pops out, I'm guessing, due to the yeah. tree roots, okay? So what I'll have you do is I'm going to ask you to put your left foot directly in front of you. Okay. Left foot, right foot directly in front, touching the toe. Like this? Right foot, right foot directly in front. Yeah. Your other. Continue to walk? No, no, no. So left foot on that imaginary line, right foot directly in front, touching the toe. There you go, I'll stop right there. Hands head against your side. Now please stay in that starting position until I ask you to begin, okay? okay. So what I'm gonna ask you to do during this exercise is take nine filled with toe steps in front of you just like this. One, two, three. When you get to your ninth step, I'm doing three for demonstration purposes. When you get to your ninth, take a small series of steps to turn yourself around, staying on that lead foot, okay? okay? And then take nine filled with toe steps back just like this. One, two, when you get to your ninth step on the way back, the test is complete. A few things. It's important once you start, you're going to stop, um, step out loud, and each step is going to control the other hand. So, one, two, three, count. Nine, nine fill the toe steps forward. Small series of steps to turn yourself around, staying on that. Mm -hmm. And then nine fill the toe steps back. The drunks have such a hard time with this particular test. And it's not necessarily executing the test that's the problem for them. It's understanding the instructions. And today is no different. Okay, and setting your side. Do you begin, do you understand the exercise? Okay, begin when you're ready. Honestly, I want to go home. Okay, we're past uh, that point, I'm though. I'm scared. Okay. Uh, okay. 
So at this time, we're going to have you take your hands behind your back, okay? Please. You're under arrest, okay? Wait, 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 you can call your dad once you get to the jail, okay? I respect that your parents are in law enforcement. I do. I really do. And I would like you to call your dad, but I have but I have to have you do that at the jail just like I do everyone else, okay? Can I just have a few minutes? I promise you, I think. Can I just have like 10 or 2 minutes with my dad before you come in? 62 dispatch. 62 and 9 is going to have one white female, 215. Can I call it up to the car? Please go to the car. We're going to have a female officer come in. Can you have an available female officer? Come for sir. Would you give... Yeah, oh, you were a half hour from home? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna end that. I'm gonna shut this out of my car and die. I don't want to ruin my life. I don't want to do it. What, what do you need to call your dad for? I'm a fall I know I fucked up. I know I fucked up. I don't want to ruin my life. But you gotta understand, once I stop you for going so fast and you're all over the road, I'm talking all over the road. It's past the point where I can just say, uh, and you've got open alcohol in your car. Please tell me. Just please tell me I fucked up. You did. Please tell me I fucked up. You did make a mistake tonight. I'll do everything to I do not want to fuck up my life. I understand. You I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Please. Would you give me permission to move your car so it doesn't get towed? Please. Would you give me permission with your car? So I give you know? permission. Okay, is there anything that you need out of the car? Keys, phone, wallet, I have your phone. Is there anything else you need? <laughs> this don't want this to happen to me. I understand, and I would feel the same way if I was in your shoes. But you need to understand what I am not. Can you okay. give me a break? No. I'll give you, like, I'll, I'll, my dad will come. My dad will come. I'll stay on the side of the road. Okay. We won't have to do so, this. So, I'm... This is getting really pathetic with the begging. Lady, put on your big girl pants and accept the consequences of your actions. You could have killed someone. Clearly, you didn't care about anybody's safety when you decided to drive literally while drinking. So it's time to take accountability and just accept your situation. No, I'll, I'll never drive time. again. You can have my license. Or else we're going to impound your car. I'm not like holding that against you. I'm just saying I would like to park before you if you let me. Can I park your vehicle for you? Yeah. Do you need anything out of it? Other than the keys? No? Okay. You can have this, please. I'm yeah. just gonna move for car for her. I'm sorry, right here. I'm so sorry. I'm like, I'm just like... <laughs> Shit. Fuck. I just wanna go home. I just wanna go home. Pick me up. 
So you'll be able to call him when you go to the jail. I, I mean, at this point in time, there's really not much we can do at this point. I didn't do anything. I swear to God, I didn't do anything. Anyway, I, mean, I was two minutes away from where I was. I was just driving home. I get that you're two minutes away from where you were, but the thing is, he pulled you over because or for speeding, and then he made other observations that got to this point. How are all the drunk drivers always two minutes away from home? If you're only two minutes away from home, then an Uber would barely cost you 10 bucks. What's better, pay 10 bucks or possibly take someone's life? Just think about that next time. Can, you, can I please call my dad before we get there? Can you... So you call him when you get to the jail. Can you call him? Uh, you can call him whenever you get to jail and handle, handle that. Where is he with my car? I have no idea. I think he's probably looking for a spot to They're never going to forgive me. I don't think you're going to be able to leave your car in here since it's owned by this place. So he's probably trying to find it where, you, where it won't get towed where he leaves it. <laughs> They're never going to forgive me. Your parents? Yeah, they will. No, they won't. They will. They won't. Everybody makes mistakes, don't forget you. Oh, you're giving me too many breaks. Which links do you work at? The market links do you work at the country club. Oh, you were leaving from the... I got you. I just want to go home. Can you please call my dad? <laughs> please, I just need to talk to my dad. I need to know it's okay. Please. Please, can I talk to my dad? Can I just call him? You're going to have to do it after. Can, can, can I just do it right now? No, I can't let you. Talk to him, please. Okay. I, I don't mean to be rude. Know it's okay. And that's not what's happening. It's just I would get in trouble for my agency if I would make phone calls. It's not safe. Please, please. please. I just want to talk to my Officer dad. Officer Shannon's going to search real quick. And then I'm going to ask her to place that cash in your back pocket so that that's on you, okay? <laughs> And I parked your car for you so it didn't get so okay? I'm so scared. Please, can I just talk to my dad? Please. Please, can I just talk to my dad? 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 I don't know why this is happening. Please. Just the front of pockets. Please, can I call my dad? Yeah, you call me and get to the jail, that's not going to change. Can you spread your feet for me? Yep. Mm -hmm. You want to place it in your back foot pocket, okay? Once you get to the jail and they book you, you'll be able to get your phone call, okay? There's someone I know. I'm scared. So there you have it, another Karen Bites of Dust, another one arrested. She was arrested for DUI as well as speeding and having an open container in her vehicle. Thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my second channel, Josh Prime 2, where you'll find out more awesome videos just like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.